We're Chrissy and Chloe. We are from Sky Ting Yoga, Sky Ting TV, and we're going to teach you a 30 minute spring cleaning flow. Chrissy's gonna demo first, so she'll be on the mat. So if you wanna watch her for any guides you can, I'm gonna teach and then we're gonna switch halfway through because teaching is more fun with a friend. So this is a spring cleaning little vinyasa flow open level if you have two blocks like we have here they could be useful um otherwise you know you'll just be in your space and do your thing so if you want to come forward onto the hands and knees we'll start in a simple tabletop take an inhale arch the back open the chest look up and exhale round the spine so a few cats and cows just so get the spine moving a little bit inhale you arch open up Beautiful, Chrissy, exhale, round and empty. Good, let's do two more of those. Inhale to arch. Good, and exhale, you round, pull everything up and in underneath you. And last one, you'll inhale, open the collarbones, lift the sitting bones, good, and then exhale, round it out. Nice, from here, come back through neutral setting and we're gonna take our hands for a flip. So fingers are gonna turn out to the right and left and then turn your fingers all the way to point back towards the knees. So the wrists are turned forward. We love doing this at Sky Ting. If you're new to our practice, this might feel really intense so you can always take it a little less of a turn. But if you've got the full spin and you'll start to circle around it like Chrissy's showing with her hips. And you'll circle around the wrist joint itself as well. So a lot of the ideas that we like to bring into practice for the spring season include a little bit of like spring cleaning in our physical space. And our wrists are one area of the body that loves to get tight and caught up, especially nowadays with being on our computers and our phones. And if you're watching this, we know you're on Instagram. So it's a moment for you to just clear out any stagnation or stickiness there. Circle the other way if you haven't already. Beautiful, clear it out, open it up, and then come back to center, turn your fingers the normal way, hands just face forward, and then take your left foot, extend it back against the floor, tuck the toes, and then pulse just a few times, heel reaches back, toes against the floor. Yeah, opening up the calf. Nice, and then you'll spin the left heel down, keep the right hand on the floor, and take the left hand, reach it up to the ceiling. This is like a modified side plank. Press into the base shin, press into the outer seam of the back foot, take your top arm, reach it over the ear, fingers reach forward, go into that side body so it's like you could get a really big breath on that top left lung. Nice, and then reach the hand back up to the ceiling. You're gonna just carefully place the left knee back down on the floor where it was, and take that left arm, sweep it underneath the right, threading the needle, shoulder down to the floor, ear down to the floor. Right hand can crawl forward. Maybe you tent up onto your fingertips like Chrissy's showing in the video here. Elbow bends up to the ceiling, and then really just try and turn your chest open to the right side. Big breath in. Good, and exhaling out. Bring your right hand back so it's right in front of the face. Reach the left arm all the way back up to the ceiling. Turn your chest open, gaze lifts, and then swim the arm forward and down. Simple arch of the spine, open the chest. Good, tuck the toes, lift the knees, lift the hips, come up and back to your downward facing dog. Yeah, we don't have any comments, so I can't see who's on this live, but keep throwing the hearts up because that makes us know that someone's out there listening. Take your right leg, lift it up and back behind you. Let your knee bend, let your heel hang to the seat, open the hip up to the side. If you're just logging in, this is a spring cleaning flow or Chrissy and Chloe from Sky Ting, jump on in if you want to. Square it off, re-extend the leg, reach the heel high, pull the knee forward, lunge your foot all the way through alongside the thumb. Gorgissimo, Chrissy. And then take your right thumb into its own hip crease, wrap your hip back, turn your chest open to the side, and then just a twist, opening that right hand up to the ceiling, reach the arm up, lift your gaze up if it's comfortable. So nice, swim the arm forward, release the hand down, frame the front foot, and then for a moment, just straighten out your front leg, back leg can stay where it is, back toes can stay against the floor, heel can be lifted. And doing those two uh, steps one more time each side, bend into your front knee, reach the right hand up, turn your chest, look up to that top hand, and then swim the arm forward, hand releases down, straighten the front leg and fold. That looks so nice, I want us to do it one more time. Bend into your front knee, low lunge twist, reach the right arm up, Swim the arm forward, hand releases down, and then forward, fold back into the legs. Nice, bending into your front knee, plant your palms, just simple, step back through plank pose, and then keeping the gaze slightly forward, bend your elbows back, lower straight onto the belly, come to the lie down. 
good. Take the hands just slightly wider than your yoga mat if you're using one. Elbows point up to the ceiling, beyond the fingertips. Lift your head and chest away from the ground. This is like a broad cobra shape. Release the chest and the forehead down on the exhale. Good, keep pressing down through the pubic bone. Inhale, you lift. Press your toenails down even here. Good, and exhale, release back forward and down, building a little more back bend into the shape. Inhale, rise it up. Beautiful, exhale, release back forward and down, kind of shedding the, the coat, the heaviness of winter. Bring your hands alongside the ribs, press back through hands and knees. And just simple through hands and knees, we're gonna repeat that sequence on the second side. So right leg extends back behind you, tuck the toes against the floor, take a moment, just pulse the heel back a few times to open the calf. Yep, and then from here, spin the heel down, reach the left hand, nope, right hand up towards the ceiling, left hand stays on the floor, and then we'll take it into a side bend, top arm reaches over the ear, fingers forward, opening up the lateral side body. And especially on this right side, the right side has the liver, one of the largest organs of the body, and what we really use to help filter flush to clear out, and liver is the predominant organ in traditional Chinese medicine for the spring season. So we often like to bring in the dialogue of what to focus on, where we can really support our bodies better as we transition. Take the hand back up towards the ceiling, take the knee down to the floor, and then take that right arm underneath the left. Transitions are funky sometimes, and then once you have that thread the needle you're twisting to the left side the left hand crawls forward beyond your fingertips turn your chest any amount that feels comfortable and take a few cycles of breath and all of this spiraling through the spine through the torso gives that pressure and then release for the organs of the belly so we love to work the digestive tracts in yoga um, to just help give more clearance more space so you can think about that as you take this last cycle of breath Good, and then slide the left hand back. Reach your right hand back up to the ceiling. Open the chest a little, open twist, gaze lifts. Yep, and then reach the arm forward and down to the floor. Simple arch of the spine, open the chest, tuck the toes, lift the knees and hips, come up and back through your downward facing dog again. Good, and then from that down dog, we're gonna come straight into the left leg, lifting high towards the ceiling. Knee will bend, heel hangs to the seat for a moment as you open the hip to the side, a little relief. There we go, and square it off, re-extend the leg, gently knee pulls in, step the foot up in between the hands, a low lunge. Good, left hand's gonna start to reach up towards the ceiling, this side twisting the chest open to the left, and then from here we swim the arm forward, down, and then once both hands are on the ground, straighten the left leg as much as feels available, as feels good for you. Good, bending into your front knee, reach the left hand up to the ceiling, turn your chest open, let it be like a waterway, hand reaches forward and down, release the head and fold. Not sure if that waterway reference made real sense, but bend your front knee, we'll think more like a wave in the ocean. Inhale in, exactly, and then exhale, release the hand forward, straighten the front leg and fold. Beautiful, bending into your front knee. Once again, plant the palms, simple plank pose, step it back. Keep the gaze slightly forward as you bend your elbows back, lower straight onto the belly, come to lie down. Good, and then this time we're gonna pull into just a classic, more Bhujangasana low cobra. Lift your chest gently, keep the pubic bone grounded, collarbones nice and broad, yes, and then release back forward and down. I'll have you tuck your toes here. Lift your knees up off the ground like you're engaging the full leg. Thighs might even feel like they lift off the ground. Hands stay present, pressing down. Navel center pulls back and into the spine. Take an inhale here. Open mouth, exhale, release all the air out. Seal the lips on empty, high plank. Press it up one line if you can. Good, inhale at the top. Yep, and then hips high, downward facing dog. Great. Easy peasy, walk your feet forward towards your hands, come into a standing forward fold at the top of the mat. You can keep your feet separated around, hips distance apart, so it doesn't have to be too tight or narrow of a stance this early. And keep a little bend into the knees, so as you keep a soft bend in the knees, feel like you still have the heels reaching firmly down into the ground, but then you can also find a nice lift of the sitting bones high, the hinge comes from the hip rather than the mid back, maybe shake your head out, relax the neck, maybe even flutter the lips, or if you're by yourself in your space, you make a fun sound out the mouth on your next exhale. Good, and then take the left fingertips down just on the floor, a little bit forward of the feet under the face. Take your right hand to your low back, turn your chest open to the right side, and then you can take that right hand and reach it up to the ceiling. Keep a soft bend in both knees, or maybe you start to straighten the right leg a little bit more. Keep the left knee bent. 
Yep, and then swim the arm forward and down. Replace that right hand underneath the face, the left hand when you're ready, either to the low back or come straight into reaching the arm up to the ceiling. Chest turns, gaze turns. Nice, and then swim the arm forward and down. Go twice more each of these spins. Right arm up on the inhale. And again, like you're swimming in an ocean, stroke the arm forward and down, and then left arm up. Good, exhale, swim the arm forward. One more time each side, reach it up, turn your chest. Good, and then swim the arm forward and down. Last one with that left side. Good, swimming forward and down. This time stay in the forward fold. Keep the soft bend in the knees. Keep the head heavy and real slowly start to roll up to stand. So you'll think vertebra by vertebra, stacking the spine. Your head and your arms can stay heavy. And then exactly as the head reaches at the top, top circle your upper shoulders up, back and down a few times. Nice, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Hook your thumbs above you. Wiggle the waist a little longer like you could pull the waist up off of the pelvis and then like Chrissy's doing a little more of a tick-tock right to left a few times, leaning firmly over to one side and then the other. And then take a little baby circle from upright, circle to the right, circle forward, around, over to the left, and then a little back bend on the way up. Do that one more time the first way and then you'll circle onto the second side. Yeah, so we're just carving and making some space all around us. Not Chris going wild on that second one. That's always welcome. <laughs> back through center. Take your hands behind your low back. Interlace the fingers. Roll your upper arm bones back. Sternum lifts. Bend into the knees. Stick your seat back. Reach your chest forward. Dive all the way down into the legs. Arms begin to arc overhead as you take your forward fold. Yes, nice. And then let your hands just release down to the floor. Open the chest, lengthen the spine, look out. You have an option here. Plant your palms, take a few light hops, one big hop, or step, step back, downward facing dog. Yeah, nice. And once you're back in that downward facing dog, come forward to a plank if it's comfortable for you. Pelvis drops forward, chest pulls through, upward facing dog. Otherwise, stay in a high plank. And then seat lifts, downward facing dog. We're gonna do that three more times. Inhale forward, either plank or upward facing dog. Toe stay tucked, thigh stay lifted, downward facing dog. Good, two more, inhale forward. And exhale, pull it back. Yes, nice, and last one. Inhale, pull forward. Good, exhale, pull it back. Hips high down dog, walk your hands two inches closer to your feet, a little shorter chihuahua style dog, or any of your favorite shorter dogs that you would like to emulate here. And then keep your right hand on the floor out in front of you. Take your left hand, reach it around for the outside of the right heel, so the outer right leg. Turn your chest open to the right side. Gaze maybe up underneath the right armpit towards the ceiling. Yes, and then try and wrap your left hip back over to its own side as you spiral through the spine. Good, trade it out second side. Right hand is forward and then take your left hand and reach it around. Nope, take your right hand and reach it around for your outer left ankle, left foot, and turning your chest, turning your gaze, nice full breath in. Good, and exhaling the air out. Reach the hand forward, tap your knees to the floor. Take your knees as wide as your yoga mat if you have it. Big toes together, seat back to the heels just a moment in a child's pose, release the forehead down. And then you can take your hands together at a prayer rod in front of you, bend the elbows, let the prayer tip towards the middle of your back, like towards your neck. And then maybe those elbows walk an inch or two inches further forward, just to give a little more length on that underline of the arm. So the tricep gets a little tug. You can even think of the breath opening a little more fully on the front of the chest here. Let's do one more big cycle of breath in. Good, and exhaling. Your turn, Jones. All right, we're switching teachers. So you're in your child's pose. Let's come forward to all fours. Hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back to down dog. Little more standing posture. So reach your right leg up and back behind you and then step your right foot forward in between your hands to a lunge. You're really stable in your legs. Inhale, reach your arms up to a high lunge. So your front knee's 90 degrees, the back leg is super straight and charged up, hands to a prayer, and then twist to the right, hooking your left elbow past your right knee. And if this is too much to keep your back leg straight, you can always bend your back knee down to the floor and modify 
It's up to you how you do your practice. No pressure from us. This is just a way to move energy and feel better. So always feel free to take things a little more harder or a little more softer. Hands touch down to the floor, step back to plank pose, top of a push up, zip your legs together. Now we're gonna roll onto the left hand, stack your feet, reach the right arm up towards the sky, and you can always modify by taking that left knee down to the floor. Good, otherwise lift your hips up higher. I think it looks like we're doing the opposite side as you, but doesn't matter, we'll do both sides. Good, hands down to the floor, plank pose. Downward facing dog, hips are high. From here, come forward to a plank again. And then your choice, bend your elbows either halfway or all the way back to lie on your belly. Up dog like Chloe or Cobra like we did before. Everybody meets back downward facing dog. Gorgissimo, left leg lifts up, breathe in. And then step your left foot forward to a lunge. Get your legs set up, look forward, and then when you're ready, reach your arms up next to the ears. Good, high lunge. Take a moment to really find the stability of your lower body, then bring your hands into a prayer and hook the right elbow past your left knee. Stay here and breathe. So again, like Chloe said, we're really playing with the organ of the liver in springtime for this detox effect, and twisting is a great way to sort of wring out the organs of the torso that help with this detoxification. So one more breath in this deep twist, and then exhale, hands to the floor, step to plank, zip the legs together, rolling onto the right hand, outside edge of the right foot, left arm reaches up, and then feel free to modify as always. You can take the top arm up and over your ear. We're here for a few more breaths, really lift out of the ground so you're not sinking in that bottom wrist. Good, hands to the ground, plank position, downward facing dog, hips are high. And then your choice, here we go, forward to plank pose. You can do a chaturanga or lower all the way down. Up dog or cobra, we're breathing. Downward facing dog, hips are high. Beautiful, bend your knees, look forward, and then hop or step up to the top of the mat. Lengthen your waist, breathe in. Fold and bow as you breathe out. Chair pose, bend those knees deeply, reach your arms up next to the ears, stay here for a moment, really finding the power of your lower body for three. The legs are really good blood purifiers, so getting them engaged, two. Last breath in and out. Stand all the way up and release your arms down. Tree pose on the right side. Bend your right knee in, butterfly it open, and place the foot on your left inner thigh or your left calf. If you're struggling to balance, you can always grab onto a wall or anyone beside you. Hands to a prayer. So embody the quality of a tree. So drive your bottom foot down into the ground like a root system, and then reach up through your arms like branches and grow taller. Fluff up the lungs lift up the rib cage. So there's all these little intercostal muscles between the ribs that we want to expand to help us breathe. So you might notice it feels good to keep the arms up and keep reaching up, giving your chest space, giving your heart space, giving your lungs some more room to breathe. Good. And then hands to a prayer, right knee into center, extend the leg for a moment and gracefully step your foot down. Other side, transfer your weight into your right leg, bend your left knee in, butterfly it open. Tree pose, so you can go high like Chloe with that heel, or you can keep it low. Hands to a prayer, and one side will be a little more tricky than the other side. Unfortunately, no one is symmetrical, but we, we try. Reach your arms up, and then grow tall. Lift your eyes up even a little bit more at least eye level on the horizon. Or you can lift them a little higher and bring in more light into them. Reach through the arms, lift up through the armpits, lift your rib cage up off the pelvis so the waist gets longer, keep your hips square, elbows extend, 
fingertips reach. Good. And then hands to a prayer, left knee into center, extend the leg forward for a sec, and place your foot down. Good, bend your knees, sit back, chair pose, Utkatasana. Hands to a prayer this time, and twist to the right. So we're back in our twist, left elbows hooking past the right knee. Turn and look up towards the ceiling for three. Stay low in the legs for two and one. Stay deep in the legs, reach the arms back up to center, chair pose just for a moment, and then exhale, twist to the left. Right elbow hooking past the left knee for three. Breathing in, breathe out two. Good, one more deep breath in and exhale out. Chair pose, inhale, reach up, and then hands to the ground, fold forward over your legs. From here, bend your knees very deeply and come down to a little tiny squat. And then put your butt down on the floor and lift your legs up to Navasana, reaching the arms forward. So Chloe's in boat pose, Navasana. You can keep your knees bent or you can try extending the legs for a little more of a challenge. If this is too much, you can always hold the backs of your legs with your hands, like so. We're here for three breaths. Breathe in, lift your chest. Breathe out one, you're balancing on the sit bones. Breathe in, lengthen the spine more. Breathe out two, good, one more deep breath in and out. Bend your knees, feet on the floor, hips distance, hands behind you, shoulder distance with your fingers facing the same direction as your toes. Inhale, scoop your seat up, lift your chest up, come to a reverse tabletop. You can lean your head back if that's okay for your neck. It's really good to stretch the throat, especially because now we're all like heads down in our phones and on our computers and driving. So this is a really good neck stretch. Take one more deep breath in and then chin to chest, lower down. Step your right, uh, yeah, extend your left leg long. And then step your right foot outside of your left leg. So just hook it across. Take your right hand behind you, reach your left arm up, and then hook the left elbow past your right knee and take a nice seated spinal twist. Get equal weight on both sitting bones Pretend like someone's kicking you in the lower back so you come forward a little more on the sitting bones. Lift your chest, lengthen your waist, and turn. Even try to get the eyes to look back behind you. Like Cleopatra, you're looking out of the side of your eyes. Good, one more deep breath in, sit up tall. And a deep breath out. Good, come back to center, step your right foot on the inside of the leg and then extend the right leg long. Other side, bend your left knee in, step the foot on the floor and then cross it over the right side. Left fingertips behind you, right arm reaches up, get tall. Exhale, hook the elbow and twist. Same deal on this side. You're thinking about spiraling up a spiral staircase. So your vision gets a little higher, your chest gets a little taller and you're rotating every joint of your spine the same amount, giving your organs that nice little flush that we're looking for, especially in springtime. One more deep breath and exhale out. Good, come back to center, step the left foot on the inside and extend your left leg forward. Take your hands, we're gonna lie down on our backs, but we're going to take our hands before we lie down, interlace like this with your thumbs up in the shoulder blades. This is a nice shoulder stretch. So very slowly, you're gonna lie all the way down on that shape, and then just extending the legs long. This is a nice chest opener, shoulder opener. You're opening the collarbones. And all I want you to do is breathe as big as you can into the capacity of your lungs. Lungs are also big organs that help with this cleansing, detoxification um, sort of energy we're going for in today's class. So breathing and flushing a ton of oxygen through your cells, inhaling and exhaling. 
So we just widen the container of our lungs. Hopefully you can breathe into a few more little alveolar sacs in your lungs. Let's take three more huge breaths. Three, good, breathe in. Breathe out two. One more huge breath in and exhale out. Beautiful. Bend your knees, place your feet on the floor, and then lift your hips up enough to undo your hands from underneath you. And then just make sure your arms are still on your body. You can move them around and do whatever you need to do. That can be quite intense if you have really tight shoulders, but it's a really great pose to do, especially after a long day of hunching over a desk. Here we go, we're gonna do one back bend to finish class. You're gonna step your feet parallel and hips distance. If you know full wheel and you wanna do a full wheel, be my guest, but I'll teach a bridge pose to Chloe to demonstrate the uh, modification. Press down through your feet, lift your hips up, lift your chest up, and then interlace your hands behind your back tuck your shoulders underneath you and really try to lift the chest up keep the knees parallel we're here for five breaths if you're in full wheel you're in a full back bend you're breathing your feet are parallel as well two more breaths here wherever you are breathing in and breathing out good one more deep breath in can you lift up a little higher and then exhale, undo the arms, lower down very carefully. And then just windshield wiper your knees side to side, keeping your feet on the floor. Good, toe heel your feet all the way together to touch. And then simple Baddha Konasana, open up the knees, soles of the feet together, one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart, taking a moment here to let all of the work from class go and just allowing yourself to rest. Good, and then closing the legs together. If you have time, you can always slip into Shavasana Otherwise, we're gonna end class by rolling over to the side and coming up to sit, sitting up tall in whatever meditation seat you want. Chloe's sitting up on some height, so her spine's nice and tall. One moment of silence, closing the eyes, and really committing to being still and observing the effects of class. Even this mini class could really change your mood, change how you feel in your body, change your mental state to benefit you for the rest of your day. Let's end with a deep breath in and exhale it all out. Very good class. Namaste.